So recently, I got a letter in the mail, and it read as follow. Dear Florida man, we recently saw your expert performance into turning a single planet into a utopia ran by a totally voluntary labor force. In fact, we liked it so much that we would like you to build the best penitentiary facility the great state of Florida has to offer. Uh, we've allocated a patch of swamp and some budget. Please try to not make it too expensive, and if at all possible, try to uphold human rights. Love and kisses, the governor of the great state of Florida. So we have to make it a, a kind of cheap and uh, something about human rights. I, I didn't really get that bit. But regardless, we've been allocated a wonderful patch of land somewhere out in the bayou, uh, even though there doesn't appear to be any water around here. So that's a little bit weird. But regardless, oh, there are our workmen and we should build the perfect the perfect prison facility that the great state of Florida has to offer. And you know what? Florida man is the perfect person to do this with. Why? Because, well, in order to catch a criminal, you got to use a criminal. And while I'm not saying that Florida man is, in fact, a criminal, he does have a bit of a, a dubious background. So what we're, we're going to do here, first of all, we are, of course, going to take, uh, you know, we're going to turn off the intake because we don't need prisoners at the moment. Uh, we need to build up our facility. The facility is going to be kind of nice. Sure, there's trees everywhere. We can sell that. Yes, Spiff, I did see your video. No, we're not going to be running forestry on this one. But still, I think we need to start off with building something simple. And we're, we're just going to build a couple of offices just up in here, uh, you know, just uh, to get things going. I think that will be fine. So uh, like three offices would be just fine just to get things rolling and of course we need to get ourselves a grant so an administrative center would be a good idea and we'll also get a staff well-being initiative because i guess that human rights thing was about keeping our staff happy I, i'm not entirely sure about the details but i'm sure things will be fine so now that we've got a staff room, we've got some power up and running, a spare room for some other stuff later, got our offices, I think it's time to start taking a look at what sort of requirements we have for that basic detention center. I'm sure it'll be just easy. Look at that. We're, we're getting 30 grand just for nothing. All right. What, what do we got to do here? Build a holding cell, a shower, a yard, a kitchen canteen, two guards and two cooks. That seems expensive now the governor did tell me that i have to keep within budget right now we got 45 grand we're only making 700 bucks a day and um all this stuff sounds expensive let's have a let's have a quick look at our objects here uh what what do we got in terms of you know expensive shower at 20 bucks 20 bucks that's like three lattes at starbucks no, we're not gonna have we're not gonna have a shower head. That's way too expensive. A yard? What? They want a phone booth? Three hundred bucks for a phone phone booth? I don't think so. That's that's not gonna work out for us. Okay, so we want to keep within budget, but we still want to keep it a fairly pleasant scenario when it comes to our prison. I think I've got an idea. Yeah, I do have an idea. We're gonna build the best prison facility the planet has ever seen. So I've had a look through all of these here templates of stuff that you can build, like this holding cell with like beds and toilets, sewage in Florida, you know, we're just gonna end up wasting way too much water. Water is already a priority anyway. Uh, you know, it's it's expensive, there's not enough of it. We want to be very eco-friendly here, so we don't want to waste too much water. Also, apparently we need to build a kitchen. Look at that space, it's way too big. Cantina, also massive. A shower? I, I am not quite sure what the point of that is. So, also cells. Look at that. It's a, it's a three by two cell space. That's way too big. Can we do something about that? Well, I got a, I got a lawyer. So we can, we can research small cells, which uh, lowers the size of cells, which is fine. However, this one right here seems far more attractive. Permanent punishments? That right there is the way to go, I feel. So all of that stuff that we just discussed, we somehow are going to need to squeeze into this space here because I don't really have money, or at least not so much I don't have money. I don't want to spend any money on anything bigger than this right now. So we need to manage to squeeze everything in here with a reasonable amount of prisoners as well. I mean, uh, you know, convicts. 
Still, I uh, yeah, you know we're gonna we're gonna need to get ourselves a nice uh, a nice lawyer. We already built him an office, so he's gonna be able to do all of that stuff. Man, down to twenty two k. There must be a better way of doing this, right? There must be a better way. What kind of options do we have for prisons, uh, for cells even? So we can go for a holding cell, which is a, sub a requirement of five by five, and it requires a toilet and a bench. We can build another cell, which is two by three, still way too big of a floor, uh, floor space. Also requires a toilet. Not to not to sold on that. A dormitory, which is apparently uh, from housing multiple prisoners, requires bunk beds, toilets, etc. Nah, it's not really my thing. However, this one over here, solitary, an isolated form of pris imprisonment for the worst of the worst. Sounds like Florida man to me right there. And there's no size requirement either. So that is delightful. Tell you what, we're just going to build a couple of these and, and see where we go from there. I think that will be a, a decent way of dealing with things. Out of nowhere, we just managed to get ourselves 24 of these... 50 square centimeter boxes, and uh, we're gonna need to put some doors on this, uh, yeah, okay, what are our options here? Jail door, 200 bucks. Hmm, alright, solitary door, 500 bucks! That's way too expensive, how much is a door? 50? Yeah, that's a bit too much. Uh, they'll, they'll just break out. However, staff doors only cost 100, and that's, uh, that's very much within budget, so what we'll just end up doing is, uh, we'll, we'll just, uh, add, just, staff doors on all of these solitary cells they won't be able to get out but uh, our staff will be able to get inside so that is good that is most excellent so we'll just get all these doors up and running it'd be great it'll be awesome and uh oh, our staff could just walk in whenever the hell they want so that is good and uh, all of this stuff is just just looking just absolutely dandy i'm, I'm really really happy with this they may be wondering why this giant infirmary uh surrounding this here prison complex well you know, it's they're gonna be upset sooner or later. Sure, we got these uh, we got these cops. They're just patrolling the area, and that's all fine. You know, it's this is just part of the process. You know, they'll be upset, and we'll need to heal them every once in a while. That's why I got these beds down here. We don't need any separate infirmary rooms. Don't be silly about that. I think it's also time to start bringing in our first candidates for storage. Now, minimum sec, yeah, medium sec. Yeah, this is not enough money. Max sec, 1,000? Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Let's, I, want, I want nothing. But eh, we'll, we'll, we'll take how much do we have here, sir? Eight per row. Sure, I'll take about 16 max prisoners a day. Does that work for you? I think that will work for you. That's, that's good. Oh boy, our first uh, inmate has arrived. There he is. What is his name? Anthony Tony Peretti. Apparently has uh, been in. Uh, he's been brought here because of torture, false imprisonment, and trafficking. In in that in that order, because that seems a little bit much. Now the real question is here, and uh, we quickly click away from him. How are we going to put him in this prison? Because you know solitary confinement is only something that you can do if they've seriously upset the warden. And you know it's there's no intake facility here. There's no normal prison cell to put him into. There's no holding cell. There's no kitchen to have them work in. So how are we going to do this? Well, it turns out that uh, if we uh, research permanent punishments, which requires a lawyer and 5,000 bucks, we can do, in fact, the following. Hello there, Peretti. So we're just going to quickly punish him for just arriving at our facility here, and uh, he's going to be put into solitary confinement permanently. Oh, yes. Permanent solitary confinement. Confinement and there he goes look at that onward to your new life my friend Permanent solitary isn't that amazing isn't that the kind of thing that many many people would dream of here Let me put a couple of tile walls here just in case so nobody decides to get out and we get a thousand bucks for every one of these How many solitary cells do we have currently sir? Well, it looks like we have 24 there he is. Oh look at that Peretti. What a great guy 42 years old like I said torture False imprisonment, trafficking, but the doors are staying over, open even. So what do we what do we do here? It's like this, the doors are open. Well, it's probably because our regime is not set up, set up properly. Apparently, right now they're supposed to shower. Instead, uh, they're just going to be in permanent lockup. We're, we're none of this shower, free time, eating, yard time. We're, we're not going to have any of this. So 
Close the doors, everybody, because, uh, you know, playtime's over. Look at this place. It's got white halls everywhere. Sure, they're a little bit grimy, but it's just part of the process. There's white walls everywhere. The wall, the floors are all tiled. Can you imagine walking through this hallway? All these green doors and a perfectly uh, straight and white corridor. It's basically a series of broom cabinets. And that's literally what we've done. We've taken the concept of a prison and boiled it down to what is effectively body storage. This is the modern equivalent of an Iron Maiden we've built here. A fresh batch of uh, storage candidates have just arrived. Of course, we're immediately going to send them into permanent solitary confinement. Because really, these scumbags, it's literally the only place where they belong. And I think that will be just fine for them as well. So our guards are just going to escort them to their new uh, cabinet. There are they going to live for the rest of their measly careers. I'm sure that there will be no problems with this and at all. The really annoying thing about this is we're going to individually need to click on every single one of these to actually send them to solitary. Not that I have a problem with this. It's the effort that Florida, need, Florida man needs to make in order to get the perfect job done. And that's exactly what we're doing here. I'm sure the state of Florida, the great state of Florida, will be extremely proud about what we're doing here. Putting people in cabinets. And look at that. We even got a unique character. Emiron Yanisarianis. What has he done here? Aggravated assault, pre-jury, pre-jury, and also, of course, pre-jury. You're gonna go into solitary, buddy. Good luck out there. I'm uh, sure you'll have a fun time. And look at that. All of a sudden, we're rolling in the cash. We get 1300 bucks a day, and we now have a cash balance of 18000 because every single one of these is giving us 1000 bucks, And every single day, we're getting a reasonable amount of them. Would you look at that? At the drop of a hat, we can very, very rapidly increase the scaling of our storage facility. I'm sure the boys from Storage Wars will be so happy once the lease runs out on some of these. I'm sure that's going to be a thing sooner or later. And, uh, you know, because of all of this, we can easily add some deployment areas as well. Uh, at least, at least I, I, I hope so. Okay, so maybe something like this. Yeah, th that'll work. And then just do it like this. Excellent. So we just add two more guards to this, and there you go. It's perfect. We did, we did run out of a little bit of money over here, but we'll fix that up later. It's not going to be a problem, because uh, in a couple of hours, we will get 16 grand again. Oh, actually, 10 grand, because they only get 10 from the next batch for some reason. Because only 10 of these here storage units are supposed to arrive soon. But hey, at least uh, we got like another 24 ready very rapidly here. Actually, those are 16 of them. How many, how many of these rooms do we have now, sir? 40. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, again, the size of a post stamp, we've just managed to squeeze in 40 convicts. I'm sure this is exactly what the great state of Florida had in mind when they asked us to build the state's greatest. It looks like the storage people have finally understood what uh, their lot in life is here. Um, their bowel, this guy's bowel is, is just fine now. Uh, sure, his prison, <clears throat> I mean his storage unit, is a little bit, a little bit soiled, I'd guess. Uh, you know, the entire facility by itself could use a little bit of a brush up as well, but you know what, that can wait, that can wait. We need to just increase scaling here. We can easily do that by just adding more of these beautiful tiled walls pretty much everywhere. And of course, those there staff doors, yeah, we'll just put those on. This is just, this is just cheap. This is the best you know, best possible facility we could build. You, know, you get those super maxes in North, uh, in, in North Carolina and in Virginia, and they build all these massive concrete complexes where all you really need to do is ignore this thing they were talking about earlier, human rights or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Just hold them into tiny boxes. It's storage wars. It's great. Now, of course, no warehouse goes without some incident here and there. It was, just ended up with a couple of dead cops. Yeah, these things happen, sadly. Uh, we're probably going to need to do something about that in our bureaucracy. Like, I don't know, rolling out some tasers and body armor. I think that would be a good idea. So, uh, they're a little bit more stab-proof. But it's a fine, because very soon we're just going to get another batch of um, our new friends 
here to arrive. Actually, we should probably help this uh, this guy over here who's just preparing just for those uh, new visitors that are going to be coming in soon. You know, and sometimes you get into it's a situation where uh, all of the scissors, for some reason, have been taken away uh, from our infirmary beds, and uh, all the prisoners are just running around with them. So we're probably going to need to, you know, get a couple of... Uh, metal detectors here and there because uh, I don't think this is gonna work out in the in the long term Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna need to send the riot squad in here It's it's weird when that happens inside of a storage facility Don't you worry that the great state of Florida has sent in a, a couple of helpers to take care of this here uh, Tiny riot and then of course taking care of all the scissors that are floating around yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this is going to go. Are they all in line waiting for these uh, trucks to get out of the way? Come on, guys. It's, don't don't do this to me. There you go. Oh, we can send them in manually. Fair enough. We'll just do uh, that then. Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, good luck there, uh, storage guys. Let's, let's hope that uh, this is going to go well for you. Yeah, look at all those scissors bouncing up and down. It's 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 quite glorious. There they go. Oh man, let's, uh, let's, this, this is gonna go great. This is this is gonna be great. Who knew that uh, running just solitary confinement would make um, for some dead cops everywhere? You know, it's slightly unfortunate these things happen, but it is the Florida man way. Uh, it's just it's just gotta rehire a bunch of cops, I guess. And now we got the riot squad running around as well, uh, taking care of things. And uh, we're just gonna need to get rid of the cadavers and just uh, keep on rolling. Uh, you over there, you're not going for a solitary cell? There you are, good man. Look at that. Were you running around with a hacksaw? You naughty boy, you. That's not good. This <laughs> is so <laughs> All right, so there's horses rolled up all the way. Uh, down the road. Yeah, this this could could have probably gone a little bit better, I would like to say, but you know, it's these things happen, right? It's the it's a justice system. It's uh it's it's a shame that it has to happen, but you know, these are the things that do happen every once in a while. Also, uh, we need a psychologist, so let's get one of those so we can get some more money. Also, we need to fire our lawyer. Lawyer, you're done. There you go. Thank you for coming. Uh, does it still mean that we still can access? Yes, permanent, permanent punishment. Man, these guys are gonna love their permanent punishment after that little snafu. Now, I'm not entirely sure how all these doors and coils ended up in this here storage unit. Especially considering I had to build a door in front of it in order to get 15,000 of these workers that were inside of this here box room. Out of there. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but still, you know, it made for an interesting scenario. What also makes for an interesting scenario is the fact that, um, yeah, we, we, we got a few additional prisoners, and it seems to be going okay for the moment. And I think it will be a good opportunity to, you know, expand our horizons a little bit by adding more storage units. And of course, may maybe some medical beds as well. And uh, because of that, we'll, we'll need to build some more infirmaries. Now we'll just do that like this. Like, there we go. A little bit of overlap with our infirmary right there. There we go. Let's do it like this. Because obviously we're going to need some more storage over here. And, uh, you know, that's uh, solitary. Yeah, that's fine. Look at that. Now we have 102 space. We're only using 66 because we may or may not have used, lost a couple... Of our storage uh, candidates on the way, there was a little bit of a riot. I, I guess this has to do with that storage wars um, bidding thing that was going on. It, went, it got a little bit out of hand. Let's put it that way. Don't you worry. Uh, we got a fresh batch of people about to come in here, and uh, you know what? They're, they they don't need to be processed till instantly, as always. Go straight into solitary confinement so you may be wondering sooner or later these storage facilities or at least our content are going to slowly starve to death and you'd be right however due to the magnificent world of bee swarms of doctors they will just heal them look at that this guy was starving and he was dying no 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 we're feeding him through a needle we're pumping him full full of meth just making sure that he can keep on running another day. We'll send him straight into the infirmary. Because not only is our warehouse a storage facility, it is also a giant infirmary. And that right there is creative ways of using the Florida man ethos on a classic problem of jail.
Oh, it is, it is quite beautiful. I, I, I do think that uh, I've topped myself with this one. I'm sure the governor will be very happy to hear what I've done with this facility. I do love this though. There's currently a riot underway, but everybody is just on standby because there's just a swarm of doctors healing everybody that just tries to get out. Look at that. All right, so we, we may have, uh, you know, got a shotgun on the ground and whatnot. But it doesn't really matter because all these inmates are getting tasered very rapidly here. And then at the same time, the doctors just swarm in. Use the staff doors, because that's what staff doors do. They allow the doctors in. Just heal them. And at the same time, that starvation that you had, reset. No problem. Ah, it is beautiful. I, I do like this. Who needs a holding cell? Who needs a kitchen? Who needs showers? My god, look at this. Look at this carnal hell that i have created here and there is still more to come <laughs> i do like how uh, a bunch of new storage participants have uh, shown up whilst another one is currently uh, dead in the hearse just outside of the facility you know it's it's kind of like a roach hotel right you may check in but uh, you're not gonna check out so this doctor, for instance, is so kind to help this starving individual getting him back on his feet. Jordan, you are being fed through a needle. Isn't that the best thing to do? You don't even need to go out of your box to go to some sort of table, hang out with other people, being in included into gangs? My god, that is just terrible. This facility is perfect. It's beautiful. Ignore all the corpses. Nothing terrible is going on with those. Just carry on. Nothing to see here. It's, it's fine. Carry on with your business. So why the tiled look? Well, first of all, it looks really nice. Sure, it's expensive, but you cannot beat that abattoir look. Am I right? Or am I right? Look, white, white tiles everywhere. It's beautiful. We're also making nine grand a day. That's good. That's great. Good stuff. Look at all these uh, here inmates having a ball of a time. Ignore the dead cops. So let's take a look at what we can find here while doing a little bit of a shake-up. Okay, so we got some scissors, some more scissors, some some drugs, scissors, scissors, three three hundred and sixty-six scissors. Um, that's that's a lot of scissors. It's uh, you know, it's it's not the best situation in the world, but uh, you know, it's the Florida it's the Florida way, okay. That's, that's how we'll just roll with this. That's the Florida way. So what I think is great about this particular facility is that the great state of Florida keeps on sending us food trays for some bizarre reason. They just they just pile up outside in the deliveries area. Um, we, we, we don't actually need them because um, I've expanded a little bit. And um, but we now have 263 of these here. Um, storage participants and everything seems to be going away we, okay we got this swarm of doctors just floating around healing people left right and center uh, you know they're starving sure but it doesn't matter because as soon as they are so injured they'll just fall unconscious go to the hospital beds be healed and then they can start the cycle all over again it's it's perfect it's the perfect situation they are basically on permanent life support whilst living in a box that's about 50 by 50 centimeters what was that thing about human rights again? Oh yeah, the staff room. Yeah, now, now I remember. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we installed an arcade cabinet, so that's good. So since we're expanding, uh, we, we're kind of running into a problem here that all the uh, delivery trucks of our storage people are uh, kind of backed up, which means that they all get unloaded at the same time. And uh, we're, we need to go manually through all of these to uh, assign them to their new permanent solitary status, which is a little bit frustrating. But hey, we can we can manage that. Uh, you know, right now we got 315. Hey, you know, that's that's pretty decent for a small map. But I, I think we can go bigger, and I think we can go for a more Christian number because we are a Christian channel after all. But in the end, I feel that the great state of Florida made the right decision. Putting the reins in the hands of Florida Man was definitely the best thing to do to get this prison set up on time and on budget. You know, it's 40 days in. What facility or even what roadworks are done within 40 days? I I couldn't tell you. What well, it makes a profit. 32,000 bucks a month. Right now we're sitting on 500 grand already. Sure, we, we got some repairs going on, but the amount of money that we're making is staggering. Sure, you know, we, we, we've got a couple of, you know, storage cells. Hell, we even put some nice white tiles down just to make everything look a little bit nicer. 
Sure, we got riots every single day, but our swarms of doctors make sure that everybody's healed just fine. The main issue is, is that uh, our capacity is very slowly but steadily going up, or at least our attendance is very but slowly going up. Um, the people are being released fairly frequently here, which is fine, and uh, I'm having some trouble filling the place up. But if you're really curious, whilst we may have 435 prisoners at the moment, the entire place has a very Christian number of storage facilities. That's right, we got 666 solitary production cells. Oh boy, I'm sure Florida will be super happy, and you know what? If they feel that this place is not up to spec, even though it's ahead of schedule and below budget, well, they can always turn it into your local warehouse. You know, it's you know one of those places where people store their old clocks and grandma's trinkets or a couple million of dollars in cash that needs to be laundered. Regardless, it turns out that running a facility on a small map with 666 very small boxes filled with maximum security inmates is a very profitable endeavor. And you know what? Looking at our utilities, man, we only need one power room. We only needed zero water. Oh, it's perfect. It runs by itself. Everybody's per completely pissed all the time. And probably you could make, what, five fifty thousand bucks a day with this quite easily. I'm sure this is very a very great way of running things you know what <sighs> they were right send a convict to run a state penitentiary is a genius move you know what we can even expand if we wanted to i'm gonna go wrap this one up here i hope that you enjoyed this man if you want to see more of this sort of thing like buttons right over there you know it's uh, interactions are always good and of course subscribing that's cool as well I, you know one subscribe is one additional prisoner in the storage facility. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.